it's Rick Shalene. The rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated. We're working on the Cadillac, 52 Cadillac. Mark's going to show you some pictures of this frame, the chassis on this, which had over 50 years of heavy humidity rust. We're going to show you a product, which I've mentioned many times in my videos, Rust 911. You buy it out of North Carolina. You can also buy it in my Amazon store. What we're going to show you is the setup we did for the Cadillac. We got a lift here. We made basically like a uh, enclosure underneath here that we can confine all the, the fluid. We're pumping it inside. We'll show you all that. And there's not much weight involved at all. All we needed was some quarter inch uh, masonite and some two by fours and a quick little stand for it. We got a little taper to it so it drains down. And if Mark can bring the camera over here, you'll see there's the draining. We bought a little pump that's a little circulation pump. Home Depot has them. We have some bungee cords and some clamps and stuff holding the plastic up. We had a few little accidents at the beginning. I didn't have it bundled up good enough and it sent the fluids up the front. You put one quart into five gallons of water and we put it in here. So I put uh, two quarts of the solution in this bucket here and then 10 gallons of water. That's enough. And you can get about 24 hours out of it. It turns really uh, muddy and brown from all the rust that's coming off and also it'll turn black. When it turns black, it's basically lost its power to do the job. It greatly reduces its strength. The advantage of being able to de-rust the entire chassis without taking it all apart is just enormous. Not only does it, you know, it does the rear end and the drive shaft and all the frame members and it goes inside everything. And it's uh, not an acid or anything. It's environmental friendly. I get it on my skin all the time. It doesn't cause a problem or anything. But remember, it's Rust 911, and uh, Mark will put up the contact information so you can get a hold of them. And I, I highly, highly recommend it. So uh, Mark has a series of photos we'll be putting in his video showing the progress of what it was before, and it looked really horrible. You just can imagine how many hours it would take to uh, have to heat up all the bolts and turn them out and dismantle this entire chassis, take the rear end out and all this stuff and, and, and then separate the body from the, the frame and have it all sandblasted and everything. That's typically what everybody does. We're rush removing all the floorboards. We're re rush removing every aspect of the frame, including inside the tubes of the frame. Um, we're rush removing all the components and every day a little bit more of the, the original metal, the gray look steel is, is appearing. Plus it keeps like a whole fog inside there which loosens the rust quite a bit. If you brush it a little bit with just a, um, a plastic uh, like a, a scrub brush, that will loosen it up a little faster too. We've done a little bit of that, but not much. Well, first we'll probably show you exactly what it looks like inside there. And you can see it's pretty wet environment in there. I believe it's gonna be about uh, at least a month to totally de-rust this. We're gonna do it in phases. We're gonna do the back section of the, bar, of the chassis, and then the middle section of the chassis, and then the front section. Now the front section has got a lot of grease leakage and uh, the front end grease and the motor grease and that protected a lot of the front end components it's not as rusted as bad in the back uh, in the front another little thing that you might want to know about is these harbor freight lights i think they're 39 bucks they're uh, usb chargeable with uh, lithium ion batteries i can't say enough about these things they got really good magnets and this is like the ultimate drop light so there you have it, uh, the rear end. This side has been revealing a lot. It's, it's actually a lot cleaner than that. If you scrub that, that'll be perfectly bare metal there. Maybe a few little pits. So the whole rear end is done. The backing plates, um, they cleaned up. They've been getting a, a, a side splash. And uh, maybe we'll bring the lights forward a little bit and you'll see the uh, X-frame 
of the uh, of the X member of the frame. And you can see how heavy that is. It's a, uh, a convertible. They had to really strengthen it with an X member, and it's five eighths of an inch thick of steel there, um, connecting the two rails. But in another week, this should be just about all gone. It's just absolutely amazing stuff. You can imagine uh, how much time you save uh, by getting all this rust out of the way. And it makes it so much easier to dismantle. It's like buying a, uh, a rust-free Arizona or a California car once it's done. And I think you could do this to just about any car. And you don't need a lift. I think you could do it on the ground maybe with jack stands or something that uh, you'd have to rig up some kind of deal where you can circulate it. And we're using 10 gallons, that's been adequate at a time. Getting a day out of each 10 gallon installment. That's only two quarts of material. So you can see that's just working wonders. This is where the fuel tank was here. So that's like, like factory metal there now. There's a little paint, bit of original paint still there that was protected by that fuel tank. But it's kind of weird. I mean, there's spots that you wouldn't think that it cleaned up, but they, they did clean up. Even the springs, um, these springs were heavily, heavily rusted. And now you can see there's, uh, there's uh, material in between asphalt uh, material or something in between the leaves to keep them from squeaking. It was a typical practice back then, and a rubber or something here. And it's the edges of the springs, which were super rusted, and now pretty much all de-rusted. And those backing plates have a little bit of paint on them and a little bit of grease. So that's another thing that we'll do this weekend is scrape a little bit of the grease. But uh, we're just uh, so pleased with the results here. It's going to make this job so much easier having this 50 years of rust just dissolved away. And yeah, it sounds like a lot of time, six, six weeks maybe, or maybe four weeks, but uh, the time that it's gonna save is just amazing. And the expense is not that expensive. You might've noticed I had a, a different shirt than my black T-shirt. Uh, my friend Bart was a student, lives in Oregon. Him and two of his buddies got on their Harleys and they drove around the whole country making a big loop. They went 11,000 miles and they stopped in and Bot brought me this shirt because he's sick of looking at my black t-shirt. So you thank Bot for this nice little shirt. So it's Ray from Pro Shaper. Keep watching. Remember to give us the likes and thank you very much.